Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Healing Honey, if it's your first time here. So today, you guys, I want to share with you something that's been on my mind, and honestly, it's kind of got me fired up inside. It's something that I feel like a lot of us can relate to because it's embedded in the subconscious of the collective. <laughs> it's something that we all recognize but maybe we're afraid to express and so i just want to share this video with you guys share my thoughts and i'm curious to know what you think make sure that you drop your comments down below and let me know who's here so have you ever stopped to think about the world that we live in <laughs> it's it's really crazy because earlier i was at the park and just taking a walk i was one of the only people there early in the a.m. after I dropped my daughter off to school and I was just getting that vitamin D from the sun connecting with the elements and it was so beautiful and I was thinking what a shame that most people are we're not free basically we're not free here in this world that we live in there's this illusion of freedom right no matter where you are in the world but the truth is is that we're enslaved to jobs and mindsets that don't really serve us. There's this system that everybody is born into and it doesn't have to be this way. I feel like a lot of people feel like, well, what can we do about it? Well, it starts with like awareness first. Like we have to admit that we're in a crazy corrupt system and that it's not okay. Like it's not just rainbows and butterflies down here. You know what I mean? Like a spiritual warfare. There's light and dark, good and evil. And a lot of times evil masquerades as good, right? It's not going to be in your face as evil, but it doesn't mean it's okay. So like I was at the park, one of the only people there, and I was just connecting with the earth and sitting on the grass, recognizing the divinity that surrounds me, how life is very much alive, giving thanks to the trees, to the blades of grass, recognizing that we're in an ecosystem, not an ego system. <laughs> humans sometimes we can think that we're superior to other forms of life the ants on the floor the birds in the sky and it's just not true everything serves a purpose we're very much part of gaia part of the earth and um we all just have different roles to play so i think it's important to respect like the earth and our creation and to be curious like open our minds so i encourage you spend time in the sun break free from this society what society calls the norm we should be in the sun getting our vi like getting the vitamin d that we need but instead like we're rising when it's still dark and going into a building away from nature sucking up all of our pure life force energy all day until like five or six being exposed to gmo foods fluorescent lights, screens, and everyone's working so hard for someone else, it seems, right? Because it's like a pyramid and no matter where you work, grocery store, corporate, whatever, doctor, it doesn't really matter because the people at the top are getting all the money. It's like a slave ship. And I know this is like not so fun to talk about or hear, but this is important because this is the reality of the world. And it's crazy because it doesn't have to be like this. It starts with recognizing it and then second is taking action to change it. For example, earlier I was, um, I noticed earlier this week that the gas prices where I live were like, I think um, $3.70, somewhere around there. And I was like, I guess, you know, like that's better than some of the other prices I've seen recently. And then just today, it's Friday, right? Just today, it jumped up to $4.07. And I was like, how did it go up like that? My electricity bill, $275. Food prices at the store to get a watermelon, I promise you, at Walmart, I saw a watermelon for $9. A watermelon. You know what I mean? And so it's like, my coconut milk that I love at Sprouts, $5.50, something like that. So all these prices are going up and it feels like we're just at the mercy of it right and i understand that it takes so much to produce products i'm a store owner you know 
it takes a lot to produce it but it's not sustainable the way that we're living people cannot afford it because the problem is is that no matter what type of most jobs the majority of jobs you're just getting enough to pay everything you have to pay your rent or your mortgage your car note insurance cell phone electricity then if you want food like food go out regular life you know it's just too much like we're enslaved to work so so hard all of your life to barely make ends meet but what were to happen they would have to put the gas prices down if for one day everybody agreed they just, they just weren't gonna do it they just weren't gonna purchase gas if for one day or for one month no one paid their electricity bill like the power is in the people right but it's a mental thing there's so much fear embedded into us and that we forget that it should be what's best for everyone not just a few people and so i know this sounds radical but it's really not it's about justice it's about fairness it's about transparency and so many things are hidden from us i saw this video on instagram and i'll probably put it right here it was talking about this in this inventor i think he was in texas and he came up with this this vehicle that was able to run on water okay not plummeting the earth for its natural resources take like hurting the earth hurting the ecosystem hurting the environment for gasoline right no a car that ran on water okay water is an abundance it's a natural resource but we forget that right and we have to go pay for water when it comes out the sky do you know it's illegal to collect rainwater like how crazy is this like we're in a crazy oppressive system oppressive nobody wants to hear that because america's the land of the free right how free are we if you cannot collect rainwater so this inventor invented a car that could run on water and then he mysteriously was murdered right crazy because there's so much corruption so much greed it's about greed on earth spiritual warfare, corruption, darkness, we have to awaken to these crazy truths. Electricity, okay? Edison, Thomas Edison, the light bulb electricity, but who's Nikola Tesla? Like who is Nikola Tesla? If you don't know, Google up. And you'll find out the corruption behind the systems that we are in, right? He didn't receive the funding necessary because he wouldn't be able to, to produce the greed. And <laughs> we're paying for electricity when we could have natural electricity from the earth. He found a way to do this. He was a scientist. He found a way to do this. And his, this knowledge was suppressed, right? So that every month you have to pay an electricity bill. Even Walmart, it doesn't matter where you're at. Like the biggest corporations, they still have to pay it. And so when we awaken to some of these things, like we're going to see, like, we don't have to do this. We don't have, we can change the world. Like we can't wait for the world to change. We are the world. Like our consciousness is creating reality. And that's why they never want you to awaken. Who is they? Let's just say the power systems on earth. That's why you're bombarded with low frequencies constantly. If you turn on the radio, a lot of times 95 percent of the time they're just playing crap why because that's the music of the time signs of the times just talking about lust just talking about killing just talking about hatred talking about um broken relationships broken hearts low vibrational things <laughs> turn on the news think you're gonna get some pure journalism some unbiased journalism and eh, wrong <laughs> How many times have I played this video? And everybody knows, you know, and I feel that the world is awakening. But I just wanted to share this because it's pretty crazy. Like, it's pretty crazy. And be cautious at the grocery stores, you know, like they're jacking up the prices. But ask yourself, you have to buy organic, first of all. Because if you don't, they're spraying the foods with toxic chemicals. We can't ingest that. We shouldn't be. 
you know, and it's like the food industry is working with the medical industry, right? We're, they're getting us sick and then they're gets, giving us the supposedly the cure, right? But then you have to stay on it. And so it's a game of corruption. It's a game of greed. And we can shift into a new reality by first calling these things out, not being afraid questioning things, opening your mind, and having courage to, to do things differently. You know, we are in a different generation than our parents. We have different resources. We have the internet. We have, it's just a whole different time period. And it's a new, there's new souls on earth with new information to spread and it's spreading. And so I felt called to talk about these things. You know, it's, it's important to work on ourselves like that's what this channel is mostly about is working on ourselves because when we truly step into our power and awaken and heal ourselves love ourselves and learn how to love one another our consciousness is going to raise like and our vibration is going to raise we're going to become more aware of ourselves know ourselves and it's going to impact the world in beautiful ways but at the same time recognize what is happening you know because it should give you an urgency it should at least spark curiosity in you you know and so think outside the box do things your way connect with the elements because if you ask you will receive and so if you say god open my mind to new things like what's this healing healing honey girl talking about like what's show me something i don't know or if you do know deep in your soul you know, express it, make a change in your life, break free. It starts with our mind. So I'm sending you so much love, so much power and healing on your journey. I want you to take care of yourself and I'll see you in my next video.